Hey guys, today's video is about how to use the new Shape Builder tool in Affinity Designer version 2. And we are starting with the main actions and the drag method in the Shape Builder tool. So first of all, you find the new Shape Builder tool right here in the toolbar. And to use it, you simply need to select all the shapes you want to use it with. So in this case, we are starting with these three rectangles, selecting all of them and then simply clicking on this tool icon, this shape builder icon, or use the shortcut. And we're clicking right here. And then we see we have different actions. So the first one is the plus action, which means create a new shape from selected areas and remove used areas from original objects. The next um, action is delete selected areas from objects. And the third one, create a new shape from selected areas. So um, to make it clear what these actions do, we will um, use them shortly. And we are starting with the plus action. So we are creating a new shape from the selected area and removing the used area from original object. So if we're now clicking right here, we see we can click on all of these um, spaces, these shapes. So we're clicking right here and we see we have this shape now right here, which we can move by using the move tool. And we've um, cut it out from the original shape because we used the plus action and that's exactly what it does. So we go back some steps to go to the actions again, shape builder tool. And now the minus actions, which um, only delets the selected area from the objects. So we can now click right here and right here, for example, and go here. And we see we have now the um, original objects, but deleted those shapes we selected with the shape builder tool. And we're going back again. And we are starting with the third action, which is simply creating a new shape from the selected areas. So we're clicking right here and we're going right here again. And we're now seeing that we now have this new shape we can move, but we still have our um, um, basic objects we used to um, create this shape, we used with the shape builder. So in this case, we do not delete the shape from the original objects. And yeah, so we can delete this now, select all of them again. And now there are also different track methods. So we're going on it again. The first one is freehand, which means if we know now hold down and move, we can select uh, multiple objects to create a shape out of them. So if we now um, release our um, click, we now have this new object created with um, the, this action. So in this case, it's this shape. We can give it a color so we see it. So we exactly created this shape. And depending on the action, in this case, we do not delete the shape from the original object. We can go back again. And we have another important track method we're going to look at now, which is the line method. So as you've seen in freehand, we can move as we want going back now and with line we have a straight line so we can only move in straight lines so those are the both most important track methods so with this line we can also go something like this and have this shape created so we can now go back to our basic version and go to the next slide so now we are looking um, at some examples what we can do with the um, shape builder tool. So the first one is creating interlocking letters or shapes like you see right here. So it looks like that um, the C and the O are interlocked and the O being above the C. So for this one we simply have those two letters, select them and go with the shape builder tool right here. And what we now need to do, we need to go with the action plus and we want the O to be above the C at the top right here. So we're holding and moving with freehand. So back we need to go with freehand, holding and moving with freehand. And I'm creating this shape right here and also this shape and this shape. And now we need to do one small step with the Boolean operations. So because we want those two to be one shape. We can um, um, let it that way, but it's easier to edit 
that way. So we are going with the plus Boolean operations add. And now we have those two shapes. And depending on um, the layers and the colors, we now see the interlocking effect because here the O is above the C and here the C is underneath the O. And we can go back to our um, standard version again and go to the next slide. And we can also create easy challenging shapes or logos or whatever you, um, you're thinking of, like this um, special triangle infinity logo or something like this. And for this one, we simply um, need three triangles like this right here. So as you can see, this is one triangle, this one and this one. And simply on the other side, we have the three triangles as well. We can now simply um, select them, go with the shape builder tool and we can go for example with this action or with the plus action in this case or also with the minus but it's more easier with um, one of those so we're using this one for this case and we need to think about our um, shape first so we are um, moving the right way so we're starting right, right here and holding and moving with the free hand again like this and right here and here. Do not release the click, otherwise you will create the shape and you have to add it with the Boolean operations afterwards. And we can now release after selecting. We can delete this group with the move tool, of course. And we see we have our shape cut out. And I'm going back again to the standard. And now for the last slide, I've chosen some outlook presented by the affinity designer team or the affinity team and um, you can look at to see all the possibilities you have to create with the new shape builder tool. And that's going to do for today's video. If you enjoyed watching, don't forget to like and subscribe and hopefully see you in the next video and bye.